Stop for a moment. Think about what's happening right now, the feeling in your chest, the exact pattern of your thoughts, the stillness or chaos around you. What if I told you this moment has happened before, not in a dream, not in a past life, but in another version of the universe, identical in every way to this one, where you are doing exactly what you're doing now. That version of you may be right here, right now, watching this exact video. Because if the universe is truly infinite, then every possible event, every possible life, and every version of you must exist. And not just once, but an infinite number of times. Let's start with something that seems simple, infinity. Most people think of infinity as just a really, really big number, but infinity isn't a number at all. It's a concept, a quantity without limit. It's the idea that no matter how far you go, there's still further to travel. No matter how much you count, there's still more to count. In mathematics, infinity creates paradoxes. In physics, it creates possibilities. So what happens if space itself is infinite? That means there's no edge to the cosmos. Galaxies stretch out forever. Stars and planets keep going endlessly. But here's the twist. If matter is finite in form, then in an infinite universe, those forms must repeat. Let's break this down. Imagine you have Lego bricks, a finite number of shapes and colors. Now imagine building random structures forever. Eventually, you're going to rebuild something you've already made. Not because you tried to, just because there are only so many ways to rearrange the pieces. That's exactly what happens in an infinite universe. Atoms are your cosmic Lego bricks, and there's a finite number of ways to arrange them into stars, planets, dogs, or people. If the universe is infinite, then somewhere the same arrangement must have happened again, not just similar, the same. There's another version of you, same atoms, same brain, same memories, living out this exact day, somewhere else in the cosmic sprawl. This is where things get personal. Because this isn't just about stars and particles, this is about you. If the universe is infinite, then there are versions of you that made every possible decision differently. A version that never quit that job. A version that learned to play piano. One that never met your best friend. And then, there's another you that did everything the same as you. Up until this very second, Right now, they're watching this too, maybe wondering if you exist. This idea isn't just science fiction. It's backed by math, logic, and physics. It's called the infinite monkey theorem. If you give a monkey a typewriter and infinite time, it will eventually type the complete works of Shakespeare. Randomness will produce order, if given enough space or time. Now let's add in time. The Poincaré Recurrence Theorem says that in a closed system, given enough time, everything will return to a previous state. Think of it like throwing a handful of dice. You might roll all sixes once, maybe twice. If you keep rolling forever, those same rolls will happen again. The particles in your body in this moment could eventually rearrange themselves into you again, even if it takes a trillion trillion years. So even if the universe isn't infinite in space, it may be infinite in time. And time doesn't care what you remember. It doesn't need your permission to repeat you. The ancient Greeks believed time was circular, that everything repeated in cycles. Later, Friedrich Nietzsche gave us the concept of eternal recurrence. He asked, what if every moment in your life will happen over and over, forever? Would you embrace it or try to change it? What if this life is the test and the reward is having to live it exactly the same way for eternity? The idea of repetition exists in more than just physical space or time. Enter the multiverse. The idea that every time a quantum event happens, reality splits. One version of you turns left. One turns right. One sleeps in. One wakes up. 
These branches stretch out endlessly, forming a forest of timelines. In some of them, you never watched this video. In others, you made it. In one, maybe you're just now realizing this is your favorite video ever. So how would you know? You wouldn't. That's the thing. You'd wake up, eat breakfast, and scroll through your day thinking this is the only you. Because memory, perception, and identity are all local to you. You'd feel like this is the first time, every time. But every once in a while, maybe, a feeling creeps in, a flicker of recognition, a sense that you've been here before. So if the universe is infinite, and you've lived this day before, what now? Maybe it's not about escaping the loop. Maybe it's about choosing how to live, even if you're living it for the thousandth time. Because in this version of you, in this slice of infinity, you're here. And that still means something. 